out there and of course back home to represent TNT. Let's welcome Trinidad James. All gold, everything. James. Respect that man as man. Respect that man as man. Yeah, yeah. So far, man, come on, come on, close, man, James, man. From what I understand, you're a Williams, right? Yes. Yeah. You. Your dad is from is it Tobago, and your mom from 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 Port Spain. Correct. You were born. Port Spain. General Hospital. Uh, Mountain. Mountain. Correct. Yeah. Where you grew up? You were only from Tobago before you went across to to the US. That's my question, boy. Embarrassment. I ain't sure. I'm so young. I don't remember all the details of it. But in Port Spain, you know, around in different areas like um. No, I don't want to say the wrong thing. I want to say nothing. Because we're going to have to talk that you're from Mount Lambert. People say you're from Mount Do. People say you're from Mova. I mean, I, I say I don't ask him, man. I understand. Don't ask him, man, either. I ask him, man, family. <laughs> what, what, what age you left on Antonio? Eight years old, seven years old. Yeah. You know, I went to Canada. And the States. The States? Mm -hmm. What part of the States you touched down first? Because I know you're like, you're New York? New York first. Of course. At what point you made that transition to ATM? Mm, after Florida, New York, Florida, ATM. Mm -hmm. Then um, South Carolina and back ATM. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Before the music stuff, before obviously the, the success of YouTube and the mainstream success, of course, before you getting signed and all that stuff, what, mm -hmm. what kept you busy? What what you get into other than the music? I'm um, uh, ironically, so uh, I'm um, so good to a men's boutique in Atlanta. Um, I ran that for like three, four years. And that's what I was doing. You know, running the store and started as like, you know, a sales associate and then moved into running the store. And then um, while I was working there, I just decided to pick up on the music, you know, as a, another hustle. And it really paid off for me. It sell off. Yes, sir. And you think of ATL, ATL tell us a place rich in music, it's a place where lots of the big names they come out of ATL. Right. So, I know the music scene there is very lively. Yes, it is. Um, are you taken aback with, with the success of the buzz that this video you did and this all good, everything? I mean, it really, I think, you know, I saw it on World Star World, Star Hip Hop, um, and then from there, just, it okay, just went. It was, like a YouTube, it was it a YouTube sensation first, and then it became. No, when World Star first. When World Star first. Yeah. And we'll start, we went six million, you know, boom, six, seven million on the gate. And then um, it really built a buzz because the song was already a song that was buzzing. In Atlanta? Yeah, in Atlanta and in different parts, in New York, a little bit here and there. But the video really opened everybody's eyes to like, who's oh, Shredder James? Mm -hmm. So, with that being said, the video paid off and started meeting different people. And then people realized I had a project. I just went from there. I go, oh, wow, you know, good music. How come not Trinidad Williams? See, that Williams is your last name. Why, why James? Um, because before it was Trinidad James, it was Nick James. I was like, based off of Rick James. Because my style is so different. Yeah. So my friends in Atlanta, um, they gave me the nickname Nick James. Mm -hmm. Or whatever. And um, when, I was, when I was in the beginning of making the music, that's the name I was going by. But it was another rapper by the name of Nick James. And I just wanted to have my own identity only. I didn't want to mess up anything he was doing. And I said, well, I'm going to try that. Try that James. Yeah. yeah. It will turn around good for you because, I mean, the rapping all over with the red, white, the black. Uh, I have to. And let's check this out there and check this here too. You know, they feel good when they see, you know, that kind of presence. Right. Um, obviously, Nicki Minaj did it. For her sound the sound the alarm. Right. And I mean, from what I understand, everywhere you go, you pump for that trend that into the flag, right? Yes. That's my signature. The flag, the first show I ever did in the States, in Atlanta, when I tied my head in that flag, that's the same flag I've been using everywhere I've been. Mm -hmm. And I've been you name it, I've been there, as far as in the States, you know? So I just take it and spread that energy, that spirit wherever we go, you know, just and, and, and honestly, I want to tell you that I want everybody to know that they were just trying that. It's everybody around the world that's not in the United States will say that. Me putting those flags in the old whole everything video and me wearing the flag all the time is not a forced trend. 
or people want to know you that they have to like Trinidad James because my name is Trinidad and I rip the flag. It is never a forced thing. It's one of those type of things where I just want to show where I was born that I never forgot. And I respect being a Trinidadian. I'm very proud to be a Trinidadian. And if nobody in Trinidad never liked my music or never liked me, it's all good. Because I respect and I'm happy to be a Trinidadian. I feel like it gave me an edge on the States because it's not like I came to Trinidad to try and blow up. I did my thing in the States and then come back home and we shot the video for Females Welcome, which is the next big track mm -hmm. on my uh, Don't Be Safe album. And it's one of those type of things where it's not force, it's just showing respect. And my mother teach me, you want to be, the way you want to be treated is the way you treat somebody. Where's your mom and dad? Um, in the state. In the state? Yeah, my mom still, until my father still stuff around. Right what do they think about this notoriety, this success? My father proud, you know, he, uh, he used to be a musician, kind of, you know, uh, the, the music stemmed from him, you know, so he proud, he happy, you know, he happy. He happy to know that I'm doing something positive in my life, you know, just in general, because I could be doing anything else. And, you know, he's just genuinely happy. My mother, she uh, religious, so, you know, she is back and forth, you know, but at the end of the day, I happy, she happy. And that's how we done it. In terms of plans for Soka, I know that must have come in your radar, seeing that you're here now for the carnival, but they performed at the Russian and they performed at Ramon. You saw for yourself first time the kind of crowds that come out, right? For the carnival. Yeah, definitely. Well, you see how they about it. That's why we didn't give them too much. You know, and I didn't want to force it, like, oh, try and set up a big show to do all my music because I wanted to and I didn't suggest anybody at Rama or at Marshall Monday to understand, to figure out, take the time, who is Trinidadian? Don't just like the person because everybody likes him. You don't really like me then. You just like him because everybody else likes him. You know what I mean? You don't really know them. I mean, you marry a girl just because I tell you, well, I don't get into marry. You don't really know the girl. You marry a girl three months down the line, you're mad, you're upset at me. Because whether I believe my music is good or not, if you listen to it and you don't like it, that's your opinion, I have to respect it. That doesn't mean you're wrong. I love my music, you hate my music. You know who both are right? Both of us. Because music is opinionated. You know, so just in general, I want people to, okay, we get here, all go. All right. People, uh, people I was looking, there's people who didn't know it. Not in the head, and there's people looking at it like, wow, these people have a good time this month, so let's find out why. So with that, it's almost like a, it's like a project, it's like a problem where you, you start a starter, where you build a foundation and you build off of it. Excellent. Mm -hmm. You ready for that place? I'm the music scene in the US. It's very different. Um, I mean, obviously, when you head back, you mentioned you got your project you're working on, you got a momentum. You ready for that, for that rap, for the right? I mean, I have to be. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it has to be. It's one of those type of things where I never ask myself my question. I just wake up. I love waking up, and whatever comes, attack it. That's right. That's all you can do, man. That's right. At the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? If it didn't to happen, it's going to happen. Stay for Kaibo? I have to go back to the army on um, the um, Thursday. I will, but I ride it that way. Give Trey a good taste and just show people that Trey and I James here for Trey and I. Got a chance to see family, cousins. That's what we're doing these days. These, days, these, these couple of days of our life. I will shoot a big video, I will be big, trust me, trust me, we be big. Right. Enjoy that, so family time now. Prior to this particular trip, when last year you came to Trinidad? 2011. Uh, first came up papers, right? First place that flew out. Trinidad. You really can't remember where you brought my Trinidad James, right? Well, you got eight, eight is not, like, I couldn't remember what you thought. Well, I, I went through a lot of things. You know, I had a head injury and everything at seven. So you really can't remember. I just carried cold. You must, you must find out, man, so people could know. So at least that area could know what they're trying to James was a little boy in that area. Well, my family, you can say what it, all my family still live in the same place that we live in the whole island. How is that? Uh, what I don't know. So anybody who know my family who say, like, like somebody say, like my sister out there right now. Yes. My sister still stays in the same place, my auntie still stays in the same place for the most part, or whatever. And so if they say, Trent James is my nephew or cousin, 
That was good. See that girl? Hello? Sure, that James is on. Touch your base. See a travel spot? Okay, bye. All the best, man. Alright? All good, everything. Hey, man. Yeah, man. Alright, I'm going to For real. Yeah, we come back, we touch this with Raymond. 